a lot of stuff so bear with me and it's not usually when i make this kind of tutorials they're really boring so i really don't want to bore anybody doing this stuff i'm just kind of trying to show you how it's done so if i actually go ahead and uh refresh this it doesn't look like much but i bet you there's a calculation going on behind this so on the, the multiply over here i'm actually go ahead and increase this and you can see um you get a kind of a drop or what you call it you can see how it does the thing over here that's the sine of x i'm not sure whether that's the way it's supposed to look like but it's a function now you can go ahead drop in a cosine so one more time black box is math and get a cosine and plug the x value actually we plugged in the vector into that that's why it's looking like that it's not supposed to look like that it's supposed to it was supposed to be plugged in from the x value over here and now if i actually go ahead and hide this and now you can see how this looks like now it should be um kind of wavy now if i actually go ahead and click on this and reduce this you can see it actually does the math for that but you need more ripples if you need more uh, waves you actually need to plug a res uh, something before this so i'm gonna go ahead and shift drag one of these plug it in over here drag it the x over here and get a float also so shift drag and plug that in over here now what i should have if i get this float to multiply and actually plug in the value output from here into the the sine function over here what i should have now if i go ahead and refresh as you can see we got already kind of a uh, something different new something new i don't know what that is but it's not supposed to be like that <laughs> so that's pretty okay there you go you can see all the the python the the systems that actually run on um what you call it the list of OS, I don't know how you pronounce that name all the functions that you can have if you have this like for example you have this at 2 and you have this at 2 you can have well it doesn't work like that I guess <laughs> actually it would work like that what we're gonna go ahead and do is actually plug in a call sign into this so I'm going to go ahead uh, and say, well, get one of these, so shift drag one of these, plug in the result, the float to the lower one and the y value onto the second one. Get the cosine of that. And now what you want to do is actually go ahead and get one more of these and add that up plus that up. And now you got to get the value from this one, plug it in over here. And now this is all for fun, really now what you have is some kind of shape with some ripply stuff um let's play with a few numbers let's see what we get and you can see what kind of stuff we're getting so it's kind of a uh, ripply stuff so i'm gonna go ahead play with this number right here see what i get so you can see what it does and i can reduce this and you get all kind of cool effects and you can actually try addition with this you get that kind of stuff uh, subtraction with this you get that a division you get that now if you do, do a division over here what do you get you get a flat ramp I'm a, a day addition you get that multiplication you get that so now you can go ahead and play with this stuff just like that now for the rest of the stuff that they got over there I really won't because you see it's pretty much a lot of playing around with TP and honestly this one not, was not really a tutorial but more like of uh, how you would actually go ahead and play around with this stuff in TP now the other functions like cosine of X plus cosine of Y to the power of 2 you already got the cosine of X and the cosine of Y pretty much over here now you need to multiply them twice alright so you need to add them then multiply them twice I mean some of this stuff It'd be more like you having to play with this stuff so you, if you do the x plus 2 to the y of 2 and add them up and you do the cosine of which we already got that over here here is the y and this is the 2 now if you add those up and you already got a cosine over here so i'm gonna drag that over here plug that in and now what you need to do is just plug it in over here now what you should have is another function and you can see that's just ripples all over the place 
you can see I don't know whether you can see them or not but they should be visible you can see all the Ripley stuff now if I pull up my UI and now play with the floats float attributes over here well that's for going up now we need to actually play with the numbers which are well, I have no values plugged into this to make it play but you have to plug in some few stuff to make the you know stuff come up now you have to play with this some of this stuff I'm gonna put this on the description so if you want to play with this play with this and some of this stuff like these little sticks that just means uh absolute so that would mean absolute of that all right so that's the absolute that's what it means the little tick things means a uh, power and pretty much that's it now all you gotta do is play with the rest of the numbers over there but most of these you might want to use expressions but anyway this was more like a show of how you could actually implement the stuff not really a tutorial cause math is really boring to most people so I really wouldn't even bother trying to make it like a really neat stuff cause most people virtually don't like wanna don't wanna do this kind of stuff so there's my network which is was like really rapid but only one dynamic set but you can get a whole lot of uh, stuff going on in TP now it's up to you to play if you like math and you know you wanna do some more stuff let me know. We'll we'll do some. All right. I'm out on this one. See you on the next one. Definitely TP. You know how we do. TP is something awesome, man. So now I'm out. See you on the next one.